One way to keep young is to keep active. And when we were kids, we were tend to be very active. I don't know about you, but when I was very young, I was always running around and going out and riding my bike and doing all sorts of different things that burnt up lots of energy and kept me active all the time. But of course, as we get older, we become more sedentary. We tend to take sit-down jobs these days, and we travel everywhere by car. So we don't really get a lot of exercise when we're moving from one place to the other. Now, some people join a gym and work out, but unfortunately, most people don't, and this is a big mistake. Because an extra hundred and fifty minutes of moderate exercise a week could extend your life by an extra three point four years, and even doing seventy-five minutes a week, you know, I mean, that's just over ten minutes a day, could earn you another one point eight years, and those are pretty good reasons to exercise. And these statistics are courtesy of PLOS Medicine. And of course, the main benefits of exercise are to your heart, because rigorous exercise will allow the left ventricle of your heart to enlarge, just like it would with any other muscle. And you'll be able to move more blood around the body with each pump and deliver more nutrients and more oxygen to your muscles and tissues. And of course, that means that your body cells can repair themselves just that much quicker. Your heart won't have to work as hard, and your resting heart rate will be lower, as will your blood pressure, and all that will reduce your risk of a stroke or a heart attack. So it's more than just looking; it is actually keeping your whole body much younger. And of course, keeping your muscles in condition means that they won't deteriorate, and you'll be able to stay more mobile. And this can help ward off arthritis and other age-related complaints. So again, it's keeping your body young. It'll also keep your weight down. Now, in the U.S., more than two-thirds—that's sixty-eight point eight percent of adults—are considered to be overweight. Or obese, and more than one third—that's thirty-five point seven percent of adults—are considered to be obese. More than one in twenty—that's six point three percent—have extreme obesity, and almost three out of four men, or seventy-four percent, are considered to be overweight or obese. And I'm sure these figures are similar in most other Western countries. And you know that really. Tells a story about the way that most people live their lives. They simply don't exercise enough, and when you're not burning off the calories to、uh, move around, then your body lays that down as fat. And of course, there are all the other health implications that come along with that. And of course, fat people don't look particularly youthful. And according to the Alzheimer's Society. Regular exercise can significantly reduce the risk of developing dementia by about thirty percent, and for Alzheimer's disease specifically, the risk was reduced by forty-five percent. And these are very good reasons to exercise, because after all, Alzheimer's is a disease generally considered of the elderly. So, what sort of exercise should you do to keep active and keep young? Well, it doesn't have to be too strenuous. You know, just going for a run, a jog, or a brisk walk every day, or doing some other type of exercise that leaves you slightly out of breath, can be beneficial, especially if you start doing it during your youth or in your middle years. You could also join a gym or hire a personal trainer or a personal fitness instructor or a coach to devise an exercise program for you. But no matter how you do it, the earlier you start, the younger you'll stay.